Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor, but this video is not about me, this video is about you. This is about how to become a YouTuber. I want to, with this video, tell you one simple thing, how you can become a YouTuber. And I want to tell you why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because if there's anything I'm dreaming of, it's to see the growth of a new community of YouTubers all sharing their personal stories, their personal stories of who they are, where they are at in life, where they are headed, what they are dealing with and what they are trying to overcome to reach the next chapter in their story. And if there is any place where that story can be told it is on YouTube. And what I'm looking forward to after finishing this video is to see your personal YouTube accounts pop up. I want to see your YouTube videos pop up on my feed. I want you to send me your videos. I want you to send me your story. And I want to tell you how you can make a YouTube video. And you might be thinking, oh, but I don't have anything to share. I don't have an interesting personality. I don't have what it takes to be a YouTuber. But true it is, you only need two out of four things to make it as a YouTuber. Either you need a personality, or a story, or a hobby, or a community. And the simple thing about a story is something you want to share with other people. Something you've been thinking about, something you care about, something that you want to tell other people. A community is a circle of friends, it's a network, it's a school club, it's an organization you're a part of, it's family. It is a group of people that you want to talk to through your videos. A hobby is a passion, an interest, a craft. A hobby is something you can do that you want to share with others. Anything from cooking to crafts to art to the Myers-Briggs type indicator to psychology. Anything you are interested in that you think other people might be interested in as well. And the best thing about personality is we all have it. We all have personality. We are all something. Just because of having been born, you have something special, something unique about you that nobody else has. Unless maybe if you were born with a twin. But if your twin hasn't started the YouTube channel yet, maybe you should. And yeah, just because you've been born, you have something special, something unique that nobody else has, because that's how genetics works. Everyone is born with a unique makeup. And yeah, I admit that starting a YouTube channel can be difficult, and there are challenges, and I want to walk through these challenges with you. Starting with number one, you're not fun enough. Number two, you're too shy. Number three, you're too self-critical. Starting with number one, if you're not fun enough, Start a depressing vlog. Your vlog doesn't have to have a forced positivity or enthusiasm. You can be boring, you can be sad, you can be angry, you can be whatever you want to be because it's about self-expression. If you're too shy, start a shy vlog. Start every video with, um, I don't know what to do. Start a video where you run away from the camera every time it comes on. Set a challenge for yourself to do something weird in each video, because it's all about finding a way to take the pressure off things. If you're too self-critical, make a video where you narrate a video of yourself, where you tell everyone your own criticism of yourself, where you give everyone your judgment and let everyone know how you think. If you're too self-critical, record a video of yourself and then start narrating it. Tell everyone your own harsh review of yourself and how you talk and what you're thinking. Channel your own self-criticism by being a reviewer, by being someone that shows other people from a perfectionistic point of view. If you're too self-critical, make videos where you narrate and comment on other people's videos. Channel your inner critic against other people, not against yourself. If there's anything that YouTube rewards, it is self-expression. It is the act of showing other people who you are, to show off your natural self to other people, to not have to be anything. And self-expression can take so many forms. I've seen successful vloggers that are extremely driven by empathy. I've seen honest movie reviews. I've seen 
kind and compassionate people. I've seen loving and enthusiastic people. I've seen passionate and creative individuals. I've seen free and adventurous people. I've seen brave. I've seen aggressive. I've seen harsh. I've seen quiet. I've seen silent. I've seen shy. I've seen all of it. And none of it necessarily makes you more or less destined towards being successful on YouTube. Now it's time we talk about how you make yourself more comfortable on video. And to become more comfortable, first you have to recognize your own personality type. Now true it is, YouTube is better for introverts because typically YouTube is about being a channel for your voice, for your inner world, for your inner passion. With many of the popular YouTubers online self-identifying as introverts, the typical YouTube environment is just you and the camera. It's just you, your own thoughts, your own world, and the audience. And it's the best kind of audience for an introvert. It's a quiet audience that only comments in hindsight after the video has been published. As an introvert wanting to be successful on YouTube, what you'll want to be is personal, biased, absorbed with your interest, invested into your topic, thoughtful, opinionated, and factual. A successful introverted YouTuber is a person that has gotten a high amount of trust in their own thoughts and their own values, that is comfortable sharing their inner world with other people, and that is invested enough into their own world, into their own beliefs and into their own values to think that other people might want to listen to them. No, to think that other people should listen to them. The basis of your video has to be the content of your mind, your inner thoughts, your personal feelings, your personal values. What you know or what you think to be true regardless of the personal current situation. Compared to this, an extrovert will want an environment that is based on what's relevant. You'll want an interactive environment. You'll want an environment that is constantly giving you new information. You'll want screens around you, data around you that you can bring out and that you can respond to. You'll want to make response videos. You'll want to make counters. You'll want to think of comebacks. You'll want to use your reactions to your advantage. As an introvert, you want an environment that allows you to bring your inner world out to the world. As an extrovert, you want a world that brings the outer world to you so you can channel it to your viewers. As an intuitive, what you will want is an, a message, a video full of ideas, originality, creativity, imagination. But you'll also want an environment that gives you quiet and peace and silence, an environment that gives you privacy, privacy to form your own opinions and to make your own thoughts without feeling judged or observed by anyone. You will want self-direction, freedom, autonomy, autonomy to form your own message, to have your own thoughts, to have original thoughts, because when you are in a group, when you are in an environment where you feel watched, your message becomes more shallow and superficial. Now, when setting up your studio as a sensor, instead you'll want to look to an environment that gives you action, sounds, audience, stages to stand on and to express yourself on, lights, and things to touch and hold. As a feeler that wants to make a good video, what you'll want to make your video feel important and meaningful is a story or stories. Stories to share about yourself or about other people. Values to talk about and discuss. Feelings to discuss. Gut instincts, whims, nuances and qualities to talk about. Qualities in movies, qualities in relations and nuances and personal subjective experiences that you have of various things. As a feeler, you want your message to just naturally come to you because you enjoy talking about it, because it means something to you. But as a thinker, you will want rules, you'll want systems, you'll want scores, you will want data, you'll want objectives, goals and platforms to jump on throughout your video. You will want a list of platforms to talk about, subjects to discuss, you will want objectives that you will want to reach through your video, you will want scores to be able to grade what you're doing and what other people are doing in an objective and systematic manner. 
Now if you're a judging type, what you will want to get maximum flow in your video is linearity, continuity, closure and focus. Turn off your phone and make sure you don't get distracted while making your video. Try to make sure that your friends and family don't interrupt you during the video. Be general and broad. Start, start with the bigger picture, the overall message that you want to present. Let your creativity, your ideas and your passion be guided by an overall king message. And as a perceiver, start small. Start with random things you heard and saw throughout the day. Try out different things, make different topics, experiment, play around. And throughout your videos, ask many questions to the audience. Ask questions and reflect on and go back and forth on things as you make your video. Your personality type doesn't dictate how successful you will be with your videos, but your personality type dictates what you need to do to be successful with your videos. What you need to do to get maximum energy, satisfaction, joy and pleasure from making YouTube videos. If we look at the values, the most important thing to an NF is to make an impact to their community, to make a positive good impact on other people by what they do in the videos they make. To reach people and to make people feel understood. To say something original that makes people find ways to solve issues and personal problems they have had in their life. As an NT, it's all about learning new things and reaching new heights. It's about originality, self-direction, freedom and achievement. Achievement as in gaining something new, learning something new, accomplishing something to what you do. Gaining objective value from what you do. As an ST, it's about having a positive impact on people's health and physical well-being, becoming and establishing trust with other people, showing other people how to become more successful or how to achieve more in life. And as an SF, it's about connecting to and honoring your family and friends. It's about doing something for your community. It's about helping your friends and establishing trust and giving your friends a heightened sense of security and comfort around you. If you know your personality type, you know your flow type, you know how to achieve flow, how to achieve maximum energy and satisfaction from what you do. But if you don't, I recommend you to take the personality test, which I will link down below. And what I want to do with this video is to inspire a new generation of YouTubers that are more true to themselves, that don't abide by the norms of forced positivity, of always being happy, of always being successful, of always being this charismatic personality. And so I leave you with this challenge. Create your first YouTube video. Be yourself on camera. Shine with your personality. Create the environment you need to be a successful YouTuber. Share your dominant hobby or passion. Express your talents or your crafts and your skills in crafts. Connect to your community, your friends, to a forum you're involved with or a community you are involved with. Share your story, your thoughts and your personal beliefs, what you think is important, what you value and what you think other people should care more about. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.